From whatever place you tuned on to the show, this is the Live Signatures Radio. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. It is a daily podcast on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. If this podcast makes you think, makes you get inspired, makes you get motivated, one way or another, it means that it can be able to do the same for somebody else. You can share it with as many people as you are in love with. We are in the middle of a series. We have been discussing this series. We've been discussing about personal blockades. We dealt majorly with four blockades, and now we are dealing with the fifth, bringing to close the fifth major blockade. What is a blockade? It is something that has been created from the fact that we believe something as if it is a fact, even though it is not. And from that, we have limits that tell us we cannot go up to the extent of where we were supposed to be or where we could go to. That's what a blockade is. In other words, we can stand on our own way to succeed and we don't even know. We're going to do a recap for you and then we get it done. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The very first thing we talked about when you're talking about a blockade, in the very first episodes, we say that there is something called a mental blockade. It operates in the mental sphere, and uh, I really do not have time to go back and talk about those things we talked about in the seven episodes which we covered. We used to cover the mental blockade, but you can go back, ladies and gentlemen. You can go back if you're interested in learning. You can go back. And how can you go back? You can go back as far as episode number 1912. I think so. Whoa, that's where we came from. Very many episodes. Now, the second blockade we talked about is the blockade of a spiritual blockade. It's a spiritual blockade that we can be able to have in our lives. Remember that the blockade is, it's something that's limiting us, something that's making us to stand our own way of success. The third was cultural blockade, a very powerful thing we talked about. And then the fourth is self-concept blockade. But then we are finishing the fifth today, talking about the blockade of experiences, reality, right? We face reality. There's no one who is in the body, <laughs> because I already discussed and already when we're talking about spiritual blockade, we say that we are spirits. But we have got to live in the body. We are going to outlive the body. And we actually preceded the body. But let me tell you something. For as long as we are in the body, we are going to, we are going to face experiences. We are going to have experiences. Reality. We are going to face reality. Real life experiences. Negative experiences. Heart. Pain. Rejection. Shame. Embarrassment. Failure. Delays, uncertainties, retrogression, even depression sometimes, wanting to give up and even giving up. All those things are realities of life. And the most sinister thing about these realities of life is that they prop up blockades that tell us this way is wrong. There is failure over there. Don't go there. There is embarrassment over there. Don't go there. 
And so someone who can be able to do public speaking by training, by learning, through shame and embarrassment and exposure and training and through that arduous process, they don't want to go there because the blockade is saying you, you're going to go through that stuff. Don't. That blockade cannot have come if there wasn't an experience. We face the experiences and then we start deducing from these experiences and saying, ah, this one, no, that one, no, I cannot, I can, should not. It's not that you cannot, you can, but you might fail. You might be ashamed, you might be embarrassed. So you'd rather just stay at home. That's what the blockade is telling you. It's telling you to shrink. And when these experiences come into our lives, we create several attitudes. The attitude number one we talked about was, was fear. A very debilitating attitude fear it's created from the experience when we were born we just had two fears the fear of failing sorry fear of falling not failing fear of falling and the fear of noise only those two i remember carrying, carrying my daughter and standing on the roadside to wait for a taxi to go to church and every time a cow would zoom past she would shake you know in my arm fear of noise and fear of falling down. Those are the only two things that we are afraid of when we are born. But all the other fears, they are learned through experience. So we have an attitude of being afraid because we tried it last time, it didn't work. We tried it last time and it pained us and so on and so forth. The second attitude is the attitude of procrastination. Again, from the experience, we don't want the arduous, so we procrastinate. The third attitude is comfort over growth, cherishing comfort over growth. And the fourth, uh, fourth attitude that I'm going to talk about today is the attitude of entitlement. Again, it's, it's building up from whatever we discussed yesterday. See, entitlement is like you want everybody else to do things for you. You do not want to get your hands dirty. You don't want to soil your hands. You want everybody else to do things for you because you have attained a particular aspect of life. Like you've graduated from school and you don't want to photocopy because you're a graduate. People who are entitled have one major characteristic and this is that they want people to do things for them. They want to wake up and find all that they need for the whole day is neatly arranged and neatly placed. Like that guy on coming to America, the prince. <laughs> yeah? They do not want their hands dirty in any way. Again, this kind of attitude is a learned attitude that is hinged upon the protectionism of what? Your star at school. Protectionism of what? Your comfort zone. You want the comfort to be maintained and therefore if there is trouble, let somebody else go and do it. I'm going to stay here comfortable. People who are entitled might feel like they are superior to others. They are others, other people are at their beck and call. But what they do not know is that the attitude of entitlement actually does provide a very big blockade on their growth and on their success. Because what they are literally doing, they are basically limiting themselves in terms of their potential. Sending people to do things that you could do means that you're not going to grow yourself. You're not going to mature. And by the way, the entitlement breeds more entitlement. It means it doesn't get any better because you're going to grow it. You're going to grow and grow. The, the person who is entitled doesn't know their limits of entitlement. They keep increasing the packs, so to speak, of their limits of entitlement. I'm to the, the time that they want someone to brush their teeth. It's that insidious. You are limiting yourself. And once again, I have to insist that a blockade can be so subtle in operation that you will not know that is going on. You do not know what is going on under the surface. You're just entitled and you think that, you know, it's because you're a boss. It's because you've attained something. Therefore, you qualify to send people around on your errands. Things that you should do yourself. Nah, nothing can be further from the truth. Entitlement coming from not wanting to go through an experience that is going to create some kind of pressure on you. 
you're going to create some kind of constriction. This is what is forming a blockade for you and I to grow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been able to share all the blockades that I can think of. The blockade of the mental, the blockade of the spiritual, the blockade of the cultural, the blockade of the self-concept, and the blockade of experiences over a couple of episodes, over very many episodes, more than 40 episodes. And, you know, these blockades can stop us and the family bottle us from succeeding if we are not careful. And it's time to review and check and see where we are under any quote-unquote spell of a blockade in our lives and make ourselves the necessary adjustments. Sometimes we blame the devil and the devil is like shrugging and is like, now what did I do? Right? Sometimes we blame very many things and yet the things that are stopping us are these five blockades. We have a blockade in the mind. No devil put it in there. We have a blockade in the spirit. No devil put it there. We have a blockade in the obedience to our culture and the obedience to the status quo. No devil put it there. We have a blockade on the own, our own estimation of ourselves. And then we have a blockade that is coming from the experiences that we've gone or we are going through in life. You go through a breakup and the blockade is raising, risen up that says you will never have bliss in a relationship. You do a startup, it fails. A blockade is raised up and says you will never succeed. You try to do public speaking, people laugh at you. A blockade is raised up and said, I was never meant to speak. These are blockades that are coming from the experiences that we go through in life. Well, we've come to a close of those and I have a feeling that there's something unfinished business <laughs> when it comes to this subject matter of blockades and I don't know if we've done this. I don't think we've done this. But I'm going to give us the seven signs that there is a blockade in our lives. And you know what? You already know all these signs if you've been listening to this podcast and this series in particular. You already know all these signs that we've been talking about. But I'm going to give them to you even as we come to a close in the next seven or so episodes. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.